Hello everyone, this is a request for Lenny L14 to do a quadruple comparison between two Expeditoris fans, a Tatung fan, and an SMC fan. Now this is a 1990s SMC CEZ 9 inch desk fan. This is a 1980s or very late 80s Tatung 9 inch desk fan. This say 1970s or 80s, I don't know. Expeditoris T8 Grey, 8 inch desk fan. I guess it's a 1990, the only one I have the exact date for, Expeditoris T8 Brown. Now I have all three. This one hasn't been serviced. I don't even know if it ever was, but it hasn't been serviced. The other three have at least had servicing. This is actually take three for this video because this fan, uh, the screws were loose on the back rail, so it made really loud noises. So I had to retake it, and I got interrupted during take two. But that doesn't matter. So like quality, um, it's hard to, to judge it right now, but the worst is probably still the SMC. It's probably the worst quality out of them all. Pretty obvious. Uh, this one's got decent quality. Same with those two. I'll say in terms of quality, that's the worst. Maybe then the T8 brown, and then between those two, because I think the greys are sturdier than the browns. I don't know. But everyone's probably here for the airflow comparison. So there's a one speed. There's a two speed. That's also a two speed. That's a two speed. This actually still had like the original like plastic cover protector from it. So I got to peel it off and it was satisfying. Anyways, we're gonna actually start over here with on. Low. I'm actually gonna turn up to high briefly. So I can get a good start up because it's sometimes and it also makes weird noises because it they have a space at like a little space apart that goes in between that metal piece and the back row. And I kind of lost it, so I had to make my own one. So it makes weird noises from that, I think. No. No. But if you're judging based off noise, that's the loudest, then the T8, then that Tatung, then the other T8. But if you judge on an airflow, from strongest to weakest, that's the strongest, then that one, then those two. That one. Yeah. So that's the quietest, but the weakest. That's the second quietest, but the strongest. That's the loudest, but second strongest. That's just average overall. Anyways, hi. Keep in mind, this one's the only childhood model. Because this is my, uh, this was my great grandmother's fan. So there's four, that fan's loud, but there's four generations. This has been through four generations of family. So keep that in mind. Even though it's from 1990, it's still been through that much over its 32 years. Also keep in mind the Taurus fans are, are stronger the, um, the bigger the models get. So the TAs are usually not very good in that flow. T10s are a big step up. The T12s are also a big step up. And I'm pretty sure the T16s are also a big step up. So I'm pretty sure the T16s are absolutely mental because the T12s are very powerful. But for the high setting, these two are the same and that's the strongest. Then that one of those Simple. Uh, how about a spin down between them, if I can get to the plug. Here we go, spin down between all four. And that's the worst, then that one, then that one, then that one. Almost two difference between those two are not too far apart and those two are not too far apart. Now next up we can move the T8 away. Engage. The oscillation is engaged that way on this other T8. I think I've got engaged. Engaged. And engaged. 
Look, to demonstrate the oscillation does not work on this thing, we're, we're going to engage it like that. Hang on. We are ready. Now. The Taurus fans take the longest to start up. But to demonstrate, the oscillator arm's moving like the other one. It just doesn't oscillate because the arm is broken inside. The mechanism itself works, just the arm's broken. Keep in mind, this is the only fang out before that doesn't have oil ports, the SMC. The other three do. Those two have six for some reason, and that's got two. How about we switch them down to low and do a spin down? Here's off. Oh, I accidentally nudged that. And rang into something. Fourth. Third. But yeah, it's the same. But there you go. In my opinion, I, I, I find the Tatungs to be the best for the 9-inch series. And then I'll probably say the two Tauruses, because even though they're not the strongest, they are very reliable fans. And I'll say this will be the least recommended one, but if you don't have any other options, then take one of these over a modern fan, because these are better than modern fans, I'll give them that. But compared to like other things, they, they, they just get outperformed. But yeah, I hope you enjoyed this video. Thanks for watching and see ya.